winning, winning blueprint, blueprint presents. presents. <laughs> Welcome to the market. You are in the lab room. I'm your host, Lou. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the market. The NFL's one-stop shop for all positions related to the field. This is where teams come to get better. Free agency. And so, we're here to talk about a team that was very close to embarking on something very special in the 2012 season. They just fell short. Talking about the Atlanta Falcons. And so, when you come that close to doing something that big, you're only a few pieces away. And sometimes, free agency is all you need to get you over the hump. And so, for teams like the Falcons, like the 49ers, all these teams that fell just short, like the Denver Broncos, the free agency class that you bring in might be the ones that put you over the top. So this is a very big time for teams like the Falcons. And so we'll be talking about the Falcons today and about what they need to do to help better their roster, to give them a chance to get back to the NFC Championship game and maybe this time win it, get to the Super Bowl, and possibly win that. But before we do that, let's talk about this comprehensive list of every single free agent that's available on the market in the 2013 free agency class. I'm going to use that list in conjunction with this here trusty handy dandy big board that I have in front of you which has the listings of every single team in the National Football League and among the topics on this big board are team needs, positions of need, players that can help you fill those positions of need, and in-house free agents whether to allow these guys to walk away or to keep them in-house. And the Falcons have decisions to make, like everyone else in the National Football League. Do I keep this guy? Do I re-sign him? Or do I allow him to test the free agent market? Some guys boomerang. You allow them to go out just so they can come back to you. And so the Falcons have some decisions to make. But again, for the Falcons, this is where it starts in the 2013 season, in free agency. Getting some of these guys may be the deciding factor in whether the Falcons are able to get it done or not in the 2013 season. So let's talk about the Falcons and some of their in-house free agents. And again, these are the notable in-house free agents. This isn't a list of every single free agent restricted or unrestricted that they have. These are just the free agents that I believe are the most important. And so we're going to list them all as a group. And then we're going to break them down one by one and talk about whether the Falcons should retain their services or allow them to walk away and then I'll give you my opinion as to whether the Falcons should keep them or allow them to walk away. So here are the list of in-house free agents that the Falcons have a decision to make on. Sam Baker, Tony Gonzalez, Brent Grimes, Todd McClure, William Moore, Darwin Walker, and Garrett Reynolds. And Garrett Reynolds and William Moore have already been signed to deals. So they'll be back with the Atlanta Falcons in the 2013 season and beyond. So those guys have already been taken care of. For the rest of this group, decisions have to be made. So we start with Sam Baker. Here's a guy that had been heavily scrutinized throughout his career. And right around 2011, at the end of that season, the light bulb started to come on for Sam Baker. And he was solid. And in 2012, he was even better. And now the Falcons have a decision to make. Do they keep Sam Baker or do they allow him to walk? Now, if you're the Falcons, I think continuity means more to you than looking for a guy to come in and be better. And I think that Sam Baker is good enough 
at the left tackle position. He's above average to where you don't have to go out and look for an upgrade at the left tackle position. I think that him being familiar with the offense, Matt Ryan feeling like he can trust Sam Baker, Sam Baker knowing exactly what the guard next to him is going to do, having that continuity along that offensive line is more important to the Falcons, and they need to retain the services of Sam Baker. And I expect them to because I don't think the Falcons want to go out and spend the type of money that it will take to go and get someone else out of free agency. And again, I'm in the thinking of, hey, I'd much rather deal with the evil that I know than the evil that I don't. You let Sam Baker go and you go out and get one of these other free agent left tackles. They come in and they're not what you thought they were then you'll be kicking yourself because you had a guy in Sam Baker that you knew and knew what he could do, knew what he was capable of, and you allowed him to walk away. So I think Sam Baker will be back for the Falcons in the 2013 season. Tony Gonzalez, he's basically said, and I said this all along, that he'd be back. And he basically said, for the right price, I'll be back in Atlanta. So they just have to sweeten the pot. They just have to make it worth his while. The Falcons want him back desperately. And so whatever he wants, Tony Gonzalez will probably get because the Falcons need him desperately. And I expect the Falcons to make a play and a serious push to get Tony Gonzalez back on their team in the 2013 season. Brent Grimes is a guy that I wasn't sure that the Falcons wanted back. But with the release of Dante Robinson, it became all too clear to me that Brent Grimes is a guy that the Atlanta Falcons value and want back in the fold. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Brent Grimes is going to be back in Atlanta that's part of the reason why they let Dante Robinson go and felt comfortable doing so is because they felt like we got Brent Grimes here. He's coming off of an injury, but we feel like Brent Grimes is a really good corner and we want him back in Atlanta and I think he'll be back in Atlanta and I think that's a smart decision by the Atlanta Falcons. You look at Todd McClure. Look, this is one of your longest tenured Falcons on your team, if not the longest tenured Falcon. This guy's been your center since, I don't know, 2000. I mean, this guy's been around forever. He's been durable. He's been consistent. You don't have any problems out of Todd McClure. Look, he's about 33, 34, 35, 36 years old. If there's a reason why you want to get rid of him, it's age. It's because you're thinking his production is starting to fall off. But Todd McClure has been solid to me. And I don't think there needs to be a change. If it's not broke, I say don't fix it. And the center position is one of those positions that you can play until you're 50 if you're good enough and you keep yourself in shape. And Todd McClure has been solid for you. I don't see why you would get rid of Todd McClure unless you have a younger, cheaper option in mind that you know can get it done. I think Todd McClure is your man and you need to bring him back. William Moore was priority number one in the offseason for the Falcons. They took care of it. There's nothing really more to discuss there. William Moore will be back for the Falcons for a long time to come. Vance Walker is a guy that I think the Falcons need to hold on to. I like him at the defensive tackle position. I think he gets pressure on the quarterback. He's solid in the run game. I like Vance Walker. He's a rotational depth guy. I like him a lot. I think the Falcons need to retain his services. Not sure if they're going to or not. And I think there's some other teams in the league that could use him. And so the Falcons need to make a decision on Vance Walker. I think he's a guy that you bring back and put him back in that defensive rotation because I feel like, again, if it's not broken, you don't need to fix it. You were one game away from the Super Bowl. Don't go blowing your whole team up. Get guys back if at all possible. If you think they can help you, keep them in the fold. And I think Vance Walker is a guy that can help them, and they need to keep him. Garrett Reynolds, another uh, offensive lineman that the Falcons deemed necessary to re-sign. They did that. He'll be back in the 2013 season. So you look at the needs for the Atlanta Falcons. First one comes to mind, running back. You cut ties with Michael Turner, and you've got a slew of running backs, but none of them are a primary ball carrier. You need a guy to come in and tote the rock. Now, all indications point to Steven Jackson for this Atlanta Falcons team, but I'm not sure if the Falcons are going to go in that direction. You got rid of Michael Turner because he was old. Well, Steven Jackson is no spring chicken. He's only a year younger, and so he's about to turn 30, and we know what 30 means for running backs generally. And so I'm not sure the Falcons want to go down that route. Now, I think Steven Jackson would actually be a good fit in Atlanta, but 
But I'm not sure if the Falcons are looking to go in that direction. But here are some options for the Falcons, just in case you don't want to go the Steven Jackson route. You could look at guys like Rashad Mendenhall, Sean Green. I think these are two options that if you are the Atlanta Falcons, you have to seriously consider because these are two younger running backs that can tote the rock, and it can be a great change of pace to Jaquiz Rogers. I think you should really seriously consider Sean Green and Rashad Mendenhall. These are guys that can help you. And also, don't forget about Reggie Bush. I really like Reggie Bush. I think he could fit in Atlanta and what they're trying to do. Because Reggie Bush is a guy that you can't give it to 25 or 27 times. But you don't need to because Jaquiz Rogers would be taking some of those carries. And so I think you could get away with Reggie Bush in Atlanta and have that work out really well. So we'll see what the Falcons decide to do. But I think their best bet would be a guy like Rashad Mendenhall. Honestly, the most ideal situation for them would probably be Rashad Mendenhall or Sean Gray. You look at the left tackle position. If Sam Baker is back, there isn't a need. It's really simple. And I think Sam Baker will be back. But I have it on the list because if he's not back, then you're going to have to address that with a guy like Jermon Bushrod or a guy like Jake Long or someone of that nature. But I think Sam Baker is back. I really do. And I don't think the Falcons can allow him to walk away. They need to keep him, and I think they will. So you look at defensive end. John Abraham was one of those releases in the offseason, and so they're going to need some defensive end help. And there are several guys that I think the Falcons could target at defensive end. Listen to some of these names because I think some of these guys would fit perfectly in Atlanta. So you've got veterans, Dwight Freeney and O.C. Human Yard that could fit in to this Atlanta football team. Then you've got young guys in Cliff Averill and Michael Bennett who could fit on this Atlanta Falcons team. And so if you're able to wrestle Michael Bennett away from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, not only would you be making your team better, but you would be really crippling the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the process. And so that would be a double whammy for them. Michael Bennett is a solid pass rusher, a guy that can be okay in the run game as well. Cliff Averill, he's a little light in the pants, but again, he can get after the quarterback. I think the Falcons have several different directions they can go in, but I think this is definitely a position that they need to address via free agency. Some of these positions, they can go in the draft and help themselves out that way. But this is one that I think they need to address via free agency. And these are the four guys I think no one else should be on their radar. These four guys are the ones the Atlanta Falcons should be targeting. O.C. Humanior or Dwight Freeney, if you're looking for a veteran presence, or if you're going the young route, Cliff Averill or Michael Bennett. Pick one of those four and move on. You look at the inside and outside linebacker positions for the Atlanta Falcons. Now look, Akeem Dent hasn't been what you thought he was going to be at the middle linebacker position. A little inconsistent, a little banged up, so you're not really getting the production there that you would like. Also, you really haven't had a lot of production out of Steven Nicholas either at the outside linebacker position. So now you have to ask yourself, do we need to upgrade these positions or do we just need depth? Because either way, you need linebacker help. Whether you keep those guys or you don't, whether you keep them as starters or you don't, you still need depth because you didn't have any depth at linebacker last season. And now a guy that shouldn't have been on your roster who was on your roster, and Mike Peterson is going to be gone in 2013. So now you really need more depth. So you need to sign at least a minimum of two guys in free agency or one guy in free agency and then attack this position of need through the draft. Either way, I think one guy needs to be selected in free agency. Let's look at some names that could help you out. If you're looking for the outside linebacker route, you're thinking of a guy like Philip Wheeler. Or maybe Aaron Henderson from Minnesota. Philip Wheeler is a guy out of Oakland that I think would fit very well in Atlanta. Also, a guy like Thomas Howard could be someone that could fit in Atlanta as an outside linebacker. But again, if you're looking for rotational depth, then some of these guys will be off limits to you because they want to start. And they don't want to come into a position where they're going to be a rotational guy. They're starting in their current positions. They don't want to leave where they are to come and be a backup for you. So it all depends on what you're looking for and 
what these guys can bring to the table in Atlanta. You're looking for inside help? A guy like Nick Barnett or Jasper Brinkley or maybe even Chase Blackburn can be what you're looking for inside at the linebacker position. There are many options for you if you are the Atlanta Falcons, but you need depth. And however you acquire it, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, whether it's the draft or free agency, you need depth at the linebacker position. Last but not least for the Atlanta Falcons, cornerback. You allowed Dante Robinson to go. You gave him his pink slip and his walking papers. He's no longer an Atlanta Falcon. He's now in Kansas City. So now you need to address that. There are several guys on this roster already that are going to have an impact at the cornerback position for the Atlanta Falcons. But you just let go of a starting caliber corner. Now you need to replace him. And I think Brent Grimes is going to be the guy that you replace him with. But again, if Brent Grimes is not back, then you'll need to fill this roster spot with a guy that can get it done at the cornerback position. But I entrust that Thomas Dimitrov will get it done. He'll get Brent Grimes back and he'll be out there at cornerback for the Atlanta Falcons in the 2013 season. So that's the Atlanta Falcons in a nutshell. Again, this team is a few pieces away from taking that next step and becoming a serious championship contender in the NFC. They were almost there in 2012. A few moves in free agency, coupled by a few more in the draft, and this team could be competing for a Super Bowl championship in the 2013 season. And that's what free agency is all about. Sometimes getting you that one or two guys that puts you over the top and helps you become a Super Bowl champion. And that's going to do it for the Atlanta Falcons in the market. Atlanta Falcons, the market. <laughs>